Welcome back to my channel. It's Brittany from The Imperium. Welcome to vlog number 19. I think there's 26, right? In the year. So, running out. Uh, so in this vlog, let's see, this is going live while I'm in Florida for So Magical Expo. I'll be teaching, uh, Clear and Jelly Dubbins on industrials and also steering wheel covers on domestics. Um, I've got some makes. I am making customs. I have a bunch of tumblers to make for more me now, and I'll actually be taking some on the plane with me to get them to uh, Florida. Oh, George is going to come say hi. And I've got a new pattern to show you that's releasing. I think that's about it. Um, I think I'll have to cut recording short. I don't know that I'll cover any of So Magical in this one. I do leave on Wednesday the 20th to head there. Um, we'll see. I'll probably be bringing my laptop, so I might throw, like, a clip of traveling there in. <laughs> George is watching. Uh, yeah. Hopefully it's a good vlog. We'll see. I, it seems that people enjoy it. I, I mean, we've been getting views, so I appreciate it. I'm glad I'm sticking to it, and I'm kind of looking forward to continuing this into next year, too, so... Okay, George says, enjoy! <laughs> so, <clears throat> it was riveting. This purse that I was about to show. When someone decided to be on my shoulder. Excuse my face. I was sick all day yesterday. Um, I just have to finish the zipper tab. But I finished up this custom Annette. Uh, I just have to rivet the matching NCW, but they both have crossbody straps that go with them. Yes. So, this is normal. Uh, this is the inside of the wallet. Like I said, I just have to put the rivets here, but I was like, oh, donuts up there better. Okay, Whew. these claws are sharp. I did trim them. Um, anyways, so this is uh, a purple soft vinyl from Mormino. I can't remember what it's called, so sorry. Uh, but I used the print for the zipper pockets. Oh, I used a cute print inside the pockets too. Little cat faces. Um, so like I said, the crossbody strap goes on it, and so it has two D-rings. I don't normally do that, but it was custom ordered that way. Uh, this is also the handbag at 115%. I don't have another Annette, like, in my face. I have two here, actually, but, um, I'll have to take pictures comparing them, but she also requested extra long um handles i used a kitty zipper pull and then this is the inside i really like the 115 percent uh handbag size so um so there's that i finished those and then I got strikes from Retro Stitch. I have to finish these before I leave for Florida. So I have a lot to do. And yesterday I was sick, so I got like nothing done. Uh, I got these it's like kitty ice cream sandwiches. I think it's from something, and I don't know what it's from. But I was like, kitties. <laughs> Those real cute. And then I got. I know this is from Pixelcast. Uh, I don't know if I own the file. I might. Uh, and Melissa at Wizardry was so generous and she sent me zipper tape to um, help sponsor the Clear and Jelly Devon class. So, yay. Uh, I'm doing my kits for that as like a build your own kit kind of. 
I'm, um, I cut a bunch of the like clear printed vinyl main images and then I'm gonna cut a bunch of like different colored jelly vinyl and then we'll have those zipper tapes and I'll just have uh, the zipper pulls and clips in nickel, black nickel, and rainbow hardware. So it'll be like everything will be laid out and you kind of just pick what you want to put together for your kit. Um, oh, and I've been wanting to get one of these forever. It's like a, uh, I thought it turned on when I did that last time. Oh, yeah. Uh, for like heat presses and tumbler presses, uh, I have a problem with my tumbler press. And I have to make a bunch of tumblers for Mormy now, so don't want to make them look bad. So I ordered that. Anyways, hopefully, I think I, I feel better today, so yay. Oh yeah, also, like at the end of my last vlog, my hair was a different color. It's fine. Okay, <laughs> I have two minks. I'm so excited to share. Um, I had mentioned previously that I was working on a like secret pattern test. I guess most of them are a secret until they get announced. However, this vlog goes live September 23rd during So Magical Expo. And I do believe I have set the time as long as future Brittany, past Brittany, future for me, past for you. Uh, sets it at this time this is going live like wow Lauren Mormino is teaching her mystery sew class and I am in the room helping the Taylor tote has two styles so I think this is exterior one and this is exterior two so this one features webbing handles and then I used the one and a half inch webbing for the sides. I did use three fourth inch D rings here because that is all I had. Uh, there is a slip pocket. You can do one or two of them. On this one, I used holographic glitter clear TPU. And then it has a perky recessed zipper. Look at the zipper pull. Thank you. Uh, and this is the interior that has a center divider. So this is my first time making a uh, center divider for a bag. So much fun. Uh, you could put a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> like this is huge. So I know it's black, so it's hard to see. Um, so that's the center divider. And then it has a fun cargo pocket and a zipper pocket. Uh, this was fun to make and help with and everything. Uh, the fabric on this one is cotton woven. And then I used this vinyl for the gusset. One and a half inch webbing. And I use waterproof canvas to line it. So this fabric is from Retro Stitch. This clear TPU, this vinyl, my hardware, my webbing are all from Mormino. And this zipper pull and zipper tape. I don't know where this zipper tape's from. The zipper pull's from Wizardry. I'm almost positive. And then the little tiny bit of jelly vinyl is from me. Um... And then, of course, my label, cork label from Heart, Wind, and Hide. And I used the Fairy Floss uh, sewing string from Wizardry on that one. And then this one. Oh, okay. And so on that one, I interfaced the vinyl exterior pieces. I interfaced the woven pieces fully. And then I went over them again with, like, the extra interfacing. Um, this one, so instead of the, uh, webbing that goes all the way for the straps, this is pieced together, so the pocket is in between there and it gets sewn into there, 
and then it has the connectors for the handles. I really like this one. I feel like it looks more like classy in a way. I don't know. Uh, I did use the one inch D rings on this one. Uh, so this vinyl is from So Dulce. This is the Brazilian clay from Warm Me Know. Um, all my hardware and I believe zipper tape is from More Me Know. I think this zipper pull is from So Dulce too. Uh, this one does not have the divider. Look how cute. <laughs> I love it so much. Uh, I really like this one. So on this one, I interfaced the exterior vinyl for the interfacing and stabilizer pieces. I did not put any interfacing on any lining pieces um, because I use waterproof canvas. Lauren said that she puts the stabilizer on the bottom piece, but I did not and it came out well. So super fun, super excited. Congrats Lauren on an awesome pattern. So much fun. I love them. I'm hoping you sell at my upcoming shows. Okay, bye. Okay, so I had done a pre-order and we're like at turnaround time pretty much. Um, I just got one third of my vinyl shipment. One box is a little MIA right now. So hoping that shows up real soon. Um, and my wedding is on the way too. I'm really excited. But okay, so I only got one third. So here is... Ugh. It doesn't want to come off. Okay. Here is this pink, like, leopardy heart print. So cute. And the pink is, like, so good. I am so happy with the scale on these, too. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have tried to do that. Uh, I'm like, I know I ordered some for myself, but... Okay. Um, here is rainbow paw print. Um not sure if this is the pastel version or the bright version because I only have this to look at right now and I'm just not sure. And, oh yes, okay, this one's going to slide all the way off. Here is rainbow leopard skulls. So good. Oh, I wish you could see the color like perfectly. It's a little bit more like pink than you can tell. Yeah, so I'm excited. And I got some more jelly vinyl in this box with these. So I'll be able to start fulfilling my pre-orders tonight. So excited. Can't wait to share the others. I think I'm waiting for like four more prints. I can't even remember. Donna and I have some new makes to share. Is that right, Donut? Anyways, he was here, so. Um, first off, I just want to say thank you to whoever has randomly used my Technisport code. Um, it never tells me who, but I get really excited when I get, like, the conversion notice email. Um, so whoever you are, thank y'all. Um, I made a couple more peekaboos. This one, let's see if I can... Oh. Okay. Um... I, I moved the camera, and I'm going to try to do lives from, like, this point of view more, too, but my light right here, it, it bothers me that's on my glasses. Anyways, um, this is so cute. This, um, is a digital file I got from Pixelcast, and then I got to use my little ghost pool from Warmy Now. Uh, this is the butter from, uh, Weft and Warp Co., but it's so cute. I gotta make a strap for it. Uh, this is another... Pixel cast file. I believe I got this glitter vinyl from uh, the Gardner Sewing Room. I wasn't lying <laughs> when I said that this is a normal occurrence. You just, yeah. Anyways, now what's your game plan? Gotta think about it. Oh, jo donut. Um, there is a Hex Reject, uh, true crime digital file drop happening today for me. 
uh, September 18th, so I know this doesn't go up until the 23rd, but you should check the website and see if there's anything left. This is so cool. Um, I used a skull pool <laughs> with it. I, it made me laugh. Um, she's got, like, a po true kind of, like, podcast one, and then one's, like, um, skull and bones type deal. There's, like, a science-y one that's, like, beakers and stuff. They're pretty cool. Uh, I finished this strike for retro stitch. Um, this is also a pixel cast file, but retro stitch is running it. Um, so I use cotton woven and then this is the will o wisp vinyl from Let Me Know. Um, I do love me an everyday tote. So this pattern's from bag stock. It's got a cargo pocket. A zipper pocket and the recessed zipper. Um, I've made it before with just a magnet closure. Um, I personally travel with one of these. My 15 inch laptop fits in it and my 13 inch iPad fit in it together too. So um, this print is running retro stitch. I think I want to say the round opens on the 22nd so it'll be open while this goes live. I finished up a custom ordered Dyna handbag with leopard print interior. This is the little black dress, little black outfit, ace glitter vinyl from Warmy Now. Uh, they changed the name. So this one has a leopard print waterproof canvas lining. And are you ready for this? I made a matching wallet. Uh, this is something I've wanted to do, and uh, my customer and I had discussed it. But look how cute! <laughs> So this is the mini NCW. It's the first mini NCW I've made. It's really cute. Um, so they match. I love it. Um, I'm gonna make more of these with the cat face. Um, I basically made it match the other one, but I think next time to make it completely match, I'm going to round the flap more just so but either way they're super cute together um and it fits in there nicely because I mean this isn't the biggest purse but yay okay so those are my makes right now um I have to finish a backpack that I cut out for retro stitch it's gonna be real cute um a mini backpack. It's like these little kitty ice cream sandwiches with pink glitter. Um, it is Monday. It's like 12 30 right now. Um, I fly to Orlando Wednesday at 1 so I have to leave my house around like 9 30. I got a lot to do. Um, I finished up my Devon class kits. I have 15 people in the class. It's on industrials and I made like 27 possible kits. I did it as like a build your own. Um, I would show you them right now, but Donut is sitting on the suitcase. I'm not going to move them. And then I'm working on finishing up, finishing. I'm on, I'm like halfway done with the steering wheel covers. There are 37 people in that class. So I'm a little nervous, but excited. It's such a good class. Um, I just haven't had that many people before yet. So looking forward to it. Um, I'll have a couple more makes to share. My webbing from my pre-order is currently out for delivery, so I will be back to show that as soon as I get it. I listed some of the clear TPU prints on my website. One of them already sold out. One I didn't even have retail after I kept a roll. Um, I'm waiting for four more prints. Currently, one box was out for delivery last Wednesday, but it still says out for delivery, so I'm waiting for FedEx to call me and uh, let me know if they found it or not. Uh, one box was missing, and now it's been found, and it's supposed to be here Thursday, and I leave Wednesday. So, hopefully by next week, when I get back, everything is in. I did open a new pre-order. Um... I'm rerunning a couple of the prints that I 
didn't have much retail on or none and then I added a couple more there's like a Christmas kitty print and it's so cute um so go check that out it closes on the 28th um I wish I had like actual samples to show but it takes so long to get them in that I wouldn't be able to do that before Christmas I'm also thinking about getting the shimmery clear vinyl again um maybe in some more colors too we'll see they're here okay I'm so excited this is my first time ordering custom webbing oh donuts excited you like it so this is the pastel stars on white it's so cute it's so good oh my gosh I love it so much it came out really good oh my gosh this box was really heavy <laughs> um where'd that paper clip go don't I I don't know uh here is that same print but on black so good I got clear TPU vinyl also that matches these a lot of people ordered both um, I only have a couple rolls of that for retail once I get it in, um, but I'm rerunning it. So I've got plenty of webbing. I had to order a minimum, and I only reached like a fourth of the minimum for each print, uh, but that's okay because so much retail. I love these. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh... is the candy corn uh so the only thing about this is there were supposed to be little stars on them but it looks like they did not uh print that way so it's just candy corns with speckles so i might have to contact everyone who ordered it and see what they want to do i still absolutely love it but it just doesn't have the little star outlines they probably weren't thick enough to print on the black but candy corn webbing can't go wrong okay this one I have highly anticipated so this is the leopard heart print it's so good and oh geez the last one is at the very bottom of this bag so I think I need to flip it upside down. <sighs> it's down there. All the way. Okay. Donut, it's not like string for you, sir. Oh my gosh. So these are the rainbow paw prints that match the rainbow uh, TPU paw prints. They're so good. Okay, so I think those are the prints. Let me see here. If I can just grab donut the ends. Whoa! Where is the end of this? Okay, found it. Is this all of them? Stars, stars. Oh, I didn't grab that one. Oh boy. <laughs> donuts like attacking all of it I wouldn't expect anything else okay so here are the five prints dude what'd you do anyways we've got rainbow paws pastel stars on black pastel stars on white leopard hearts and candy corn uh, I can get one and a half inch wide, but the problem is there is a hefty minimum for yards and I have to pay a setup fee for each one. So I'm willing if the demand is there, but I kind of don't even know what my favorite is. I love them all so much. So I'll have these listed on my website for retail before this video goes up. 
Um, like I said, I have plenty. I've already paid the um, setup fee, so I can always order more too. Um, so I'll definitely try to always have these. Would you like to tell them goodbye? What's this? Oh, now you're gonna act like you don't want to play with it? <laughs> We're setting up the industrial room. Where are oh, you going? <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't record anything yesterday. My flight got delayed by four hours, so I got here at midnight. Good times. But this is the industrial room. It's not done yet. Just set up. No more me no booze. Almost done. There's a tumbler I made. George made. They don't really go in there The little blurred packs. It's so cute. End of so magical day one. It's like day three. Um my flight on Wednesday. I left my house at 9 a.m. and I got to the airport and I like walked through security and then uh I waited forever for my flight. I had like a one hour flight from Cleveland to Baltimore. Fine. Beautiful weather. Perfect flight. And then I got on my flight to go to Orlando and we were like on the runway and then we like pulled over to like park the plane and uh, I sat on it for four hours before we got to leave. Um, so I got to Orlando at like 10.30 and then it took forever to get my bag so I made it to the hotel at midnight. And then yesterday was Thursday and we set up the Mormino booth and we had like a really nice dinner and then today I helped in the open sew industrial room and then I helped in the Mormino booth so it was lots of fun and then we got pizza and anyways um so tomorrow the day that this vlog goes up I will be working in the booth and then I teach the clear and jelly Devon class and then um we have like a lunch break and then I have a fashion show and then we have the Moreno Mystery so which if you've watched this whole vlog already, you've already seen the bag. Um, so I'll record stuff for tomorrow and Sunday, and then we're going to Universal for like a day and a half before I go home. So 